Alright, what's going on dudes, and welcome back to another episode of Ultra Modded Survival. Since we last left off, I did a live stream. In that stream, I did a whole bunch of tedious crafting work, but it was all worth it. So, I'm now wearing the uh, the modular power suit's chest plate, and the reason for that is we have a jetpack. So, let me go outside and I can demo it to you real quickly. So, we hold spacebar and we fly on up and then we start falling, but then I have a parachute if I hit shift so we don't have to worry about fall damage. So, this way, we can keep particles turned on to maximum without having to worry about like the smoke particle effects being all obnoxious as a blaze man or if we want to get rid of the smoke particles as a blaze man and turn into a bat, then our vantage point is all blessed. So, right now, we can just stay as as being like normal us and we can do things and that way we can get the full particle effects of Ars Magica and Thomcraft when we start on Thomcraft. So I think this is like the best way to go at the moment. And since uh, we've taken out basically all the uh, the super valuable ore spawn bosses, it means we don't have to worry too much about having the uh, the super quick flight to like fly away from things or the, the super protection that having like a full set of Mobzilla or Royal Guardian armor, ultimate armor, etc. provides. So pretty, uh, pretty cool stuff. So we the only downside is that um, I, uh, I can't just do like a regular jump because the jetpack uh, it enacts whenever I uh, whenever I even hit space. In fact, you know, it may be worth looking into if I hit K. Can I make it so? No, I guess that's just how the jetpack works. So if I hit K, I can configure the uh, the modular power suit. However, I, uh, I I didn't know if there was like an option where you can specify. I'd rather double click to make the jetpack go, but it looks like that's just how it works. Is it's a uh, Hold down space, and uh, that's that's what happens. Um, anyway, it's to this episode, I, I kind of wanted to tie up like some loose ends on stuff. Um, I wanted to. I don't know if I can hook up a uh, a chest to the the turtles. Um, lots of people let me know that the uh, the melee turtles actually have their own inventory, which is down in the uh, in the bottom right over there. So there's some arrows, bones. They fill up on these these stupid worn down bows that the skeletons always drop into them um but then each of them have their own inventory so i don't know if i can pump it out to a chest or if i'm supposed to write like a program to do that um i just don't want to like waste time and resources in an episode troubleshooting just how to pump out items from a melee turtle so anyway i also uh, i put down a sound muffler but i'm still hearing the uh, the mobs on, uh, up on top so i think i might put this in like a, a different location uh let's see why don't we go and put it, uh, like, right over here or something? Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Should have used my silk touch. God dang it. Oh, well. I can replace it. Um, why don't I put the sound muffler, like, over... Hey! You! Stop it. Just trying to make this a more hospitable environment. Oh, yeah. And then I also wanted to go get some grass, because uh, the cursed earth should spread to it. Anyway. Oh, God! No! Stop! 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 God dang it. <laughs> Well, like, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. There we go. I thought it wasn't gonna let me fly away from the uh, the uh, the conveyor belt's grasp. Uh, let me grab some more glass and patch it on up. All right, and glass. Okay, and then grass as well. Glass and grass. Um, may as well get the grass. Do I have any grass in my inventory? I don't. Oh, I do. I have one. Eh. Need to get a little bit more anyway, so let me go and uh, let me just silk touch a bit of grass, and that way we can. Uh, I don't know if the cursed earth will only spread to grass, um, or if it'll spread to dirt. I, I'd rather play it safe, so I'm gonna go and just collect a bit of grass because it's not difficult to do. And okay, here we are. Just grab uh, three pieces. That's all we need, and then when it spreads, it'll uh, it should give us more mob spawning. So that's the idea. All right, so let's put this stuff down. Let me grab it, put it in my inventory. Okay, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I did in the stream. I mean, I was mostly just working towards the uh, the uh, the jetpack, and the parachute was super easy to come by. <laughs> that requires some string and some wool. Fortunately, at least one thing is actually easy to craft uh, with modular. Nope, stop. <laughs> That's the downside of the uh, the jetpack, I guess, is you can't escape the. Uh, Conveyor belt's grasp. Okay, there we go. And let's grab you, and you, and you, and cool. I, I suppose I don't really like need the. God dang it! <laughs> Let me out of here. This is so obnoxious. Ah, there we go. Good God. Um. Oh, hey, Enderman just spawned. I I suppose I don't actually need the grinder, given that the uh the turtles 
pick up the inventory, so I can I could get rid of that. I don't know, or it could be variety. It is what it is. It's not a big deal. Okay, so anyway, let's put the grass down. Boom, boom, and boom. So hopefully that will start spawn. That's will that'll start spreading, and then we'll get some more mob spawns. I guess only time will tell. I'll check back down here maybe at the end of the episode or something, and we'll see if it's uh if it's spread. But in the meantime, we'll patch it on up. And all right, there we go. Boom, boom, and cool. Okie dokie. So, ooh, ooh, another suggestion. This is something I actually do want to do: is set up the quarry on the uh, the tree of goodness thing because that could uh, provide a pretty awesome yield. Is it called the tree of goodness? Whatever tree the king is protecting that has all the ores on it. I wanted to set up the quarry there because that. That would not be a bad call, right? I don't know if we can set it up to encompass the entire thing, but at least like the main trunk, which will get us like 50,000 emerald blocks. So that's cool. But actually what I want to do before that, um, just so we get a little bit of interesting new stuff going on, is I wanted to try spawning an Ars Magica boss. So let's see, I think the Earth Guardian is, uh, is the easiest to spawn. It's one of the earlier ones as well. I have the... Uh, diagram here as to what I need. So I need eight obsidian, one chiseled stone brick. Do I have eight obsidian? Obsidian. Uh, ho ho! What do you know? I have eight obsidian. Fantastic. Okay, so we need that. Then we need one chiseled stone brick. So I think we have the, uh, yeah, we definitely have the resources for that. Oh, come on. Stone brick, you're gonna make me man. I don't know why sometimes it makes you like manually put in stuff and it doesn't complete the recipe for you. Like uh, last night during the stream, when I was trying to make this raw carbon mesh stuff right here, fa, I can type uh, raw. Um, this raw, where is it? Yeah, when I try making that, it tells me the crafting recipe here is three coal dust, and then I shift click, nothing happens, and then everyone in the stream is like, oh no, it's it's four, it's a two by two, and I'm like, what are you doing? Not enough items? You've never failed me like this before, and I got all sad. Um, okay, anyway, so we've got our eight obsidian, we got our chiseled stone brick, um, eight iron inlays. That's something we haven't made before. Iron inlay. Oh, that's fancy. Uh, arcane ash. Arcane compound. Whoa. Whoa. This is new. Okay, so we need eight of those. And it was one, one. Okay, so we just need to make eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good thing we have enough. I also, before I started the stream, I collected a bunch more glowstone because I thought we were going to need a ton to make the uh, the thruster things, which are, are used in the uh, in the jetpack. Um, okay. Anyway, so arcane compound. Now we need to smelt you. All right, and I have more rubber going as well. Cool. I, dude, I use probably like 200 iron ingots, like 90 rubber, just ridiculous amount ridiculous amount of resources to make both the uh, I made this super duper actually I should like show you what I put in uh, to my to my power suit it was so I put in the uh, elite battery which requires the HV capacitor and then I also put in the jetpack which requires four thrusters and I uh, kicking me into the menu don't do that uh, just the amount of resources that went into that oh my god let me sh let me show you thrusters here we go, thruster. That requires the advanced machine. I need four of these. Advanced machine casing, which requires this and this and yada yada and this and advanced and blah blah and do do and do 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 resources everywhere to make four of those. And then the MV capacitor. Uh, and what are you doing, capacitor? Boom, and then that requires a super fancy, cr this actually wasn't as bad, it just requires a couple of these and yada yada, and <laughs> I uh, forgot to mention, the stream is linked in the description if you want to see me crafting things, it's uh, good good stuff. Alright, oh, I get two per, okay, cool, guess I wasn't paying attention to the, uh, the crafting recipe, say recipe thing. Alright, so iron inlays, blah, or, oops, um, iron inlay, there we are. Surround you by eight. Oh, I get four. Ha ha. So I guess we just need to make that twice. Um, boom, booms. I guess we have more for uh, for any time we need it in the future. Okay, so eight iron inlays, good to go. And then four vintium torches, vintium torches. Which oh, that's easy. Uh, four of those, good to go. 
And then one chimerite. What is what is chimerite? Chimerite. Oh, this stuff. Duh. Uh, <laughs> we've collected that a bunch. So one chimerite, and then one emerald. Emerald. Boom. And then one blue topaz. We definitely have that, right? Yep. We have thirty-two of them. All right. Cool. We had everything we needed to spawn the. Uh, the Earth Guardian boss for Ars Magicus. Shall we fight him? The only thing I don't know for sure is it. I'm under the impression somehow from reading the uh, the the wiki page that like you can only fight Ars Magica bosses with magical spells. I don't know if you can actually use any weapons, regular weapons on them. So we might spawn him and be like, oh, we don't have any spells that can do damage. So this is the problem. Uh, but we'll still try it and we'll just let him hang out and chill if for whatever reason that is the case we can't actually do any damage to him at, at this point uh yeah so you know <laughs> good stuff um all right well uh well anyway why don't i oh also uh, i meant to mention that this thing so when you actually use your spell which uh yeah good good to know that i actually the uh I mentioned this in the live stream. I'm sort of blending the last episode in the live stream, so I don't know if I'd mentioned this. But uh, when I right-clicked on it for the first time and brought up that that whole menu, whoa, what is it doing? Whoa, and I no, oh. is that normal or was that because I was holding out the? Uh... Never mind, never mind. I'm hallucinating. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> anyway, when I clicked on this, it brought up the menu. I was supposed to name the spell and select an icon for it. Which I didn't do because I didn't realize. So now our first spell, it'll serve as a reminder to our noob days. Uh, it's called Spell Recipe, which is good. And it has a lightning icon, which is absolutely not representative of what it does in any way, shape, or form. So, yeah. Anyway, not a big deal. But as we use it, you see that little 8 on the bottom of our screen? That indicates, like, our, our magic level. And as we level that up, we actually get more points over in the bl blue section. Green is, like, more higher tiered points, and so is, and red is, like, the highest tier, which we won't get to until we pass, like, level, I don't know, 25 or 30 or something. Uh, but, but anyway, why don't we go and uh, we'll summon the, the Earth Guardian but first? Oh! I wanted to try this. Uh, I've been told that you can... I don't know if this is true or not. We're going to try. If I rename the Safari Net, will it actually rename the mob that's inside? We're going to find out. Okay, so let's do uh, Prince Harry. Prince Harry. So we're going to name you. Enchantment cost five. And if we spawn you, are you... No. No, you're not named. Well, that's a bummer. Uh, <laughs> all right, why don't... Get, come back! Come back! Come back! God dang it, I have to use this. No, don't go in there! It's a dangerous place. Not that you need much protection, but please don't go in there. Please don't. Please don't do that. Okay, there you go. Woo. Uh, so that doesn't work. <laughs> Good to know. Okay, well, I mean... See... Uh, wait, it's... Oh. It just totally overrode its name and, and everything when I reused it. Okay, so that doesn't work. Well, anyway, time to go and spawn the Earth... Guardian dude. See how that goes. So he clears out like a, a big area when I spawn him. So I'm gonna want to find a nice Oh, why don't we do boss fight island? You know, that's probably a good call. Whee! Let's use our jetpack. I still I still don't know exactly how the uh, the whole power thing on the on my right hand screen is charging up with this because I I could swear to you that I'm not charging somehow unless, you know, this thing has uh the, the modular power suit has some sort of I don't know, momentum winder thing, how when you walk it like charges it up or something, it uses your energy to charge up the, I, I don't really know. I don't know why it's getting energy without me charging it. Like when I created the, uh, when I created the chest plate, it had like 40,000 and I was like, oh, oh, I mean, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> By no means am I gonna complain. Anyway, okay, uh, did I just, oh, boss, boss Fight Island's over there. All right, let's go to Boss Fight Island, Wee. Jetpack, we fly in as a normal individual. All right. Um, I do apologize, Earth Guardian, that you are forced to to, to be summoned on a kind of not pretty pretty place, but that's okay. I mean, you shouldn't be too picky since you may die anyway. So, all right, here we go. So it goes eight obsidian on the outside, like that. And boom, 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 and then chiseled stone brick. 
there in the middle. And then we put the iron inlays on top. Like so. Alright. And then we put torches around the outside. Like that. Boom. Fill in those blocks. Put the torches down. And then I think in the middle. Okay. Oh, they're sparkling. They're sparkling in, in the presence of the captain of the sparkles. Okay. So we need to throw that in. And I guess we throw that in. Is that right? Uh, Earth Guardian 3x3. Three Vintium Torch. Throw a Chimerite, a blue topaz, and an emerald in the middle. <gasps> oh, boy. Well, here we go. So let's see if this works. Boom. Is it going to get absorbed? No, absorb it. Absorb. No, absorb the thing. No. Oh, my God. Maybe I just have to. Eh? Oh, oh, hey. Ow. Oh, God. Hi. I, I thought it would. I thought it would, like, absorb it. Just just like the uh, the crafting altar did. Okay, so can I? Oh, I totally forgot. I to oh, dang, he picks up stuff. Uh, I totally forgot. I want to fight these guys with, with reasonably balanced stuff. So... Give me one sec. Uh, hold on, hold on. Do I have anything re reasonably balanced? I don't really, unless I'm going to use my healing axe. Can I use my... Oh, God. Ow. 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 Leave me alone. <laughs> He's actually doing damage because I don't have the... Uh, I don't have my full Mobzilla suit on. Um, I'm going to try fighting him with this. Let's see. Can I do damage? Oh. No. <gasps> Can you only do... Mad Wait. Uh, oh, God. Wait. Let me try a hit. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow. Let me try hitting him with, uh, I'm going to try with the ultimate sword, and if it does no damage, that means my worst fears are confirmed, and I have to actually only fight him with magic, which I guess is appropriate, but, oh no, I can't, I can't, that does one damage, that does one damage to him, oh my god, are you serious, holy crap, I need to fight him with magic, I need to fight him with magic, oh my god, okay, so, I may have done goofed, possibly, I possibly goofed. He is fast, though. It's a good thing I have sprint assist. Holy crap. Uh, I need to learn another spell, apparently. Something that does damage, so I can damage him. Uh, because, does he regen as well? Let's see. No, he doesn't regen, but still, I want to, let's do it. Let's do a fight with magic. So, I'm going to, let's see, uh, if I dip away with, with my, are you going to just calm down, stay over there? Can I get out of his aggro range? Is he just going to hang out? Let's see okay he's just chilling there yeah just chill there hang out hang out a little while and uh i don't know maybe if he despawns we can just throw in another emerald chimerite and topaz and he'll just happen again but uh okay cool uh there's my tour there's my portal <clears throat> dang that dude has some serious protection good thing i started small instead of being like oh i got a lot of gear i'm just gonna go for the best mob I po or the best boss i possibly can or the hardest one so I need to make another spell that does damage. So why don't I see the thing is I looked I looked earlier, I Googled like Ars Magica 2, good spell combinations, and they're all like really advanced ones, so I don't know. It did it did say it did say on the wiki the recommended level for, for fighting him is twenty five and I'm eight. I kinda got cocky. I was like, oh you know, I got this good gear. So I can just fight him. Well, fortunately for me, if I just use my spell, it will allow me to uh, level up without... I don't even have to kill anything. I can literally just use my spell. And uh, by the way, I haven't even tested as to whether or not it can do damage. So I should probably do that. Ow! Hey! You get a... Where? Where? All right, where is he? I don't see... Oh, he's right there. And now I don't see anything. And get away! Get away! I don't think it does damage. I don't think it... Just go away! I'll test it on something when I can actually see. Oh, boy. I hate those little spider things. They're annoying. Um, hey, Michelin man. You prepare to get a rock in your face. Oh, it gets, it gets moved around a whole bunch when you use it. Uh, Mushroom, you're going to be a test dummy. It does no damage. Unless I... Let me get point blank. And... Ah, it just goes right through him. Okay. So, well, well now this spell isn't going to work. Go away. No doesn't it just literally went right through him so good to know well if i just fire it off a whole bunch right right it'll level me up watch watch just fire it just fire it off a whole bunch oh but my mana is going down a whole bunch crap so my mana bar is is the thing in the in the bottom right it regens over time but i guess that's gonna prevent me from leveling up super fast ah uh, come on level me up to nine is it gonna take this long 
you know what, maybe I should just try using the levels I have, which is only four blue ones. Um, you can get more, it's called, I don't know, infinity orbs or something like that. Uh, let me double check. Infinity orbs, yeah. So these ones, the blue ones, give you the blue skill points, green ones give you the green skill points, red, etc. That looks pink, but I think it's red. So uh, you can get those from boss drops as well, but for the time being, I'm gonna run out of mana. How do I, I wanna, uh, I wish there was a way to like give myself more mana. I don't know that there is. It was just, oh, 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 if I use it to destroy blocks, there we go. There's a level up sound effect, I hadn't caught that before. Okay, so all I have to do is use this to, oh, and each time I level up, it regens my mana, it looks like, or it refills my mana bar. So let me just destroy a bunch of blocks. Let's go on a, we can go on a little mining expedition. I don't know if, uh, oh, I'd have to be careful though, because I wouldn't want to actually destroy any important blocks. And, uh, but I guess, I don't know, why don't we, we can dig down, let's make a little mine out here, or something, or I could actually go over to my other mine, this is actually, I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of cool, I can just mine and, uh, get levels simultaneously. I, um, I saw that there was a, a recommended spell to make that was, it was touch, plus, why you, oh, I'm out of mana. God dang it. Well, maybe I got another level from that at least. Uh, it was one that it was touch plus light, and I assume maybe that's something that you can do to actually make like torchlight from your hand. And I'm out of mana. Okay, this is gonna be a while. So let's see if we can do something with the points that we've got. Okie dokie. Wee! And up we go. Okay, come on, let me up. And let me up. God dang it. I don't know what the I don't know how this thing like decides whether or not, oh hey, Moonstone Ore. This is good stuff to have for Ars Magica. Um, I think I, yeah, I just wanna use the regular pickaxe for it. Okay, cool. Oh, but I got three. Um, and I think nine of those will make a single uh, Moonstone block, which is something we could use for the, the altar over there, except we're going for Sunstone because Sunstone is the best. Uh, I still have to collect that though. Didn't do that in the live stream, so. Anyway, all right, let's see if we got another point, maybe. Did we, we, no, still a four. All right, so what should I do? Physical damage. I mean, physical damage sounds like a good call if I want to deal damage, so why don't we unlock that? And then magic damage uh, and fire damage, which would be, well, I mean, if it works like Pokemon, we would want to use fire on Earth. I don't know if that, man, I kind of like the idea of magic damage, though, so do magic damage and then we want uh whoa oh i didn't see this before talents mana region utility touch dig um i wonder if i use if i combine magic damage and i combine target non-solid blocks uh wizards autumn light i guess touch and light is one again that can make like a Cool thing. Um, I think we need. I think we need one of these in order to make the ability. Uh, there are just like a, a whole bunch of combinations. I don't even know if they were preset like spells. I think it's just when you combine different attributes, there are just a million different combinations of attributes you can give to a spell um, that like maybe someone's never made it before. So yeah. Anyway, um, I don't know which one to do, man. Target non-solid blocks. Touch. Should I, should I unlock light and target non-solid blocks? Or wizards, I have no idea. Light and target non-solid blocks. There we go, probably made a mistake. I'm new to this, don't blame me. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn it. Oh wait, oh, oh I could have unlocked some of these. Um, whoops, I probably should have gone mana region one. That was, uh, oh well, I'll get another point soon enough when I get uh, one more level I think, so. Anyway, I need a book and quill. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Book and quill, do I have, I do not. Um, okay, well, why don't we uh, just destroy a bookshelf then and get some books that way. Will looting work on this? Give me some extra book drops. Come on, you can do it. And did it give me extra book drops? No, it didn't. Bummer, whatever, it's not a big deal. Okay, so throw that stuff back and book and quill. What do I add again? I haven't made a book and quill in a very long time. Uh, okay, exec and feather. All right, boom, and yep, there we go, book and quill. I should actually make more than one, but that's okay. 
All right, so why don't we do projectile and physical physical damage and then magic damage? I wonder what the physical da magic damage. We give it a try. We'll give it a try. Why don't we do it? Okay, projectile, physical damage, magic damage. I assume that'll make something that we can use against the Earth Guardian dude, right? Okay, remove the book and... What are we gonna? This is gonna be like a really, really, really expensive one. Watch this. Uh, oh, it's not even that bad. Okay, cool, cool. So I think we have a lot of the stuff that we actually need for it. So why don't we get rolling on that, and then I guess we'll be able to hopefully fight the dude next time. Uh, let's see. So let me toss any non-essential items back in the place, and boom. Okay, so. Let me see, and hopefully this doesn't consume like an absurd amount of mana either. All right, so blank rune, of course, um, but I think we have one of those blank. No, we don't. Blank rune, but they're extremely expensive. All that cobblestone, man, I don't have enough of it. <laughs> okay, so we need the blank rune, and we need the Vintium dust, of course. Vintium dust, cool. I'll put all this stuff over here, keep it. And so we'll just split up the uh, corners. And okay, so Vintium Dust. And then an arrow, of course, for projectile. You know, we need that. And then we need a snowball, which fortunately we got a lot of. Cool. Um, I, I assume we'll start seeing patterns as we use um, like different spell aspects that we've used in the past. It'll summon up different certain items that we've already used before. Um, red, okay, red rune. Red rune, which I think is easy to make again. God dang it, I have, oh, there, no, stupid, God. <clears throat> rune, okay, there we go, boom, red rune and blank rune, okay, cool. And then we needed an iron sword. Iron Sword, which we can just use that one, I believe. Um, purple Rune, okay. And a Purple Rune Lapis Book. Book. And Lapis. And a Purple... Do I have any Purple Dye? I do not. Uh, purple is blue and red, so I think I can make it, though. Let's see, if I have any more red dye, I do. And... There we go, okay, purple dye, cool. And then grab the uh, lapis out of there. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna need to go find more flowers though. Okay, so purple rune, purple rune, boom. Grab you, and actually I'm gonna need to make you. Okay. And then what was the final one? Um, a spell parchment, of course. Spell, parchment, and that was that, and good to go. All right, that was a good amount of ingredients, but I think that covers it all, right? All right, cool. So let's toss our stuff in, put our spell book on the, the lectern, and toss our ingredients in, and let's hope that this makes a spell that, that can... Uh, how do I actually... Maybe I shift... Uh, wait. No, how do I... God dang it. How do I get rid of you? I want to get rid of this this book. Uh, shift. There we go. Okay, has to be just an empty hand in my inventory. All right, cool. So there we go. Physical damage, magic damage, projectile, boom, and let's just toss our stuff in and hope that it works. All right, so we have the book. Is that going in? Nope. You're supposed to be, like, absorbed, right? Be... No. What are you doing? Oh, wait. Oh, it's t it should tell me. Um, it should tell me what ingredient I need to toss in first. So... Blank rune goes first. Duh. Okay. There we go. All right. Beautiful. Ooh, little particle effects going on. Okay. So the Vintium dust. All right. And then the arrow. Whoa. I wasn't doing this before because I don't think I had particles turned on. Oh, man. Here we go. This is fancy. See? This is why we want the particles to be turned on. It's like a whole new experience over here. Arrow. Snowball. Um, red rune, and iron sword, and purple rune, lapis, and book, and then spell parchment, and I think that it, oh, stone sword, whoops, 
Uh, let me grab a stone sword. Those are hard to come by, man. <laughs> Survival games, maybe, but uh, not here. All right, let's grab one of those really quick. Stone sword and okay, that was uh, that was a tough one. That was a tough crafting recipe, man. Don't know that I've ever made a stone sword. Did I have I made a stone sword so far in this entire series? I don't know if I have. Probably not, actually. So, you know, first time for everything. Boom and spell parchment, and I think that will cap it off. Boom, we got a spell. Woo! All right, so projectile spell. That is a fancy looking orb. Holy crap. Okay, so now we want to test this on something. Too bad it's daytime and we're going to have to do it on some sort of innocent innocent farm animal. But uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, anything? Let me just test out the uh, ability. And okay, so we do, let's make it not called spell recipe. We'll make it uh, magic projectile of awesome. Yeah. And then what do we want to use for it? Some sort of magic projectile looking thing, which um, this could be a good icon for it down here. All right. And then next. Oh, there are even more images. Oh, dang. All right. Let's see if there are any better, more suited ones. No, I kind of like the one I chose. It looks pretty appropriate given like the uh, the orb effect of it. So or we could use one of these. No, I like it. I like it. Okay, magic projectile of awesome it is. There we go. Now, it, oh, how much mana does that use? 67. Oh, God. Ooh. Okay, pig. I'm so sorry. It's just a test. Uh, how much? I don't know how much damage that did. Let's find out. How much was that? Was it only like two damage or so? Oh, it was nine damage. <gasps> okay. All right. Cool. Well, I think I might call this episode here, but in the next one, we will try to fight the Earth Guardian again with our spells and see if that does any better. So anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have a rating, it would be much appreciated. Other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.